Somebody wants to hear us as soon as no, we start talking. going. Oh, we're on now? There's no way. They wouldn't do that. Last year, there at the end, we always started with video only. And there's but this no is a new season. That... But you're now talking. This is new. This is a new what? beginning. A new beginning. Because look. Yeah, I know. I got one too. I love it. Yep. It, so, this is what we're starting now is. So is, we did. So let's, I mean, like half a year of uh -huh. just wild, wild west. Chaos. Nothing. No plan. Somewhat controlled chaos. It's a miracle we did anything. Yep. And then we did a, a whole year. Uh huh. With people. Yeah. So we're younger. And now. And. And now we're beginning uh -huh. the year of professionalism. Yes. Which is going to be. I'm ready for it. Clean and uh, tight no, and safe. Uh huh. Okay. And orderly. All right. So um, I'm ready for all that. So we okay. have five minutes. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to use it all. <laughs> I, when he well, first wait, handed this have... to us, I said it shouldn't be five minutes because now we have to fill it. Oh, we, we don't have, have a problem doing this. that. Okay, it's so never this been is, a problem. No. Um, so, so what I would like to begin with okay. is who our guests are. We have so many good we guests. We have so many guests. And we have one guest yet arriving. Right. Our most... Can we just put that in the oven for a moment? Of course. So the um, first... Well, I guess let's one, start with what's the oh, first thing we're cooking. Right, wait, back up, babe. Uh, oh, is it hot like this one was warm it? and so it it's will be really okay. here put it in here put it yeah in here. but we, we have to do better than okay this year welcome to our first guest lisa <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> what are you cooking lisa uh, i have some artichoke dip and God, i was, was late so i had to pull it out of the oven you're so good that sounds great yeah it's delicious all right I that's a good episode share. that didn't even take an hour no we're done <laughs> <laughs> all right bye thanks lisa <laughs> Yeah, and and we also have Casey, uh -huh. and in her lap is Elise, yes, AKA Isabel, and Isabella. Isabella, excuse me, and we have Kim, yes, and we have Clint, uh huh, and we have Oliver, and we have Rod and Cassie, oh, yeah. and can, John, we can show people, and us, and we are waiting for Paula to arrive, and where is Madeline? Uh, she's she reading a joke book. In the All right, she's reading. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, okay, so um, so we cooking? did that. You is cooking. <laughs> I'm cooking. <laughs> and we are making um, a quick and easy recipe tonight that Cassie makes for your family. Yes. And um, I have actually made this before, too. Um, and when I made it, I think we used the spiralizer that we got. And that was one of the reasons I made it. And we made... Um, what did you spiralize? The butternut squash. I no. no. Yeah. You, a butternut squash is enormous. Well, okay. But it spiralizes. It spiralized very nicely, actually. Yeah, it was huh. it was fun. It was fun to do. Okay. So um, so we're doing that, and uh, then I've already kind of got a salad going, and I yes, you made um, the whole salad. Made some salad dressing that I'll show you how, what we used, um, and uh, yeah, and I have some pies that I made already. Uh huh. Because we're trying to keep it tight. Tighter. We're trying to be very focused on one thing. Yeah. So we do one thing well. Yeah. Well, at least one. One th Just the one. <laughs> just one. Just okay. one. Okay. And it, okay. So with that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I had to make sure it's been five minutes. Because <laughs> the drink. Grandpa. I know. Yay! Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Our, our, our final arrived. guest. Awesome. Oh, there's a chair right there's, there. Yeah. There's a chair right there. <laughs> okay. yeah, I, we just knew that's the way you wanted Now, did you bring anything to put in the oven? No. <laughs> okay. Good. You want to drink now that you really need it. Well, well she's getting well, ready to have on. her special drink. Well, hold on. Because we're going to make the drink first. There's a first. slight change. Normally, we make the drink in the way middle. Way later. Yes. You can sit over there. But, <coughs> is, are we talking about what we're cooking? Yeah. We already talked about what we're cooking. No, what we're cooking is not there yet. Yeah, I said what I, I was making. You weren't paying attention. Down. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, uh, so, because what of the drink that we're making, which is, is an Aperol spritz. Uh huh. So I feel it's like we've for, done before. Maybe, but I don't remember it. I don't so remember it. Must it have been good. It didn't happen. 
Um, so that is to have with appetizers before your meal. Yes. And so we're, we're going to actually do that. We're going to actually do that. Yeah. Okay. And also, I didn't remember doing that, but when um, our friend Jen, who, you know, because Jen made salsa and Jen made that really delicious zucchini pasta that time. Oh, that's that, so good. Yeah, yeah that, that really Monkey good. Body made. <laughs> Still cracks me up. Anyway, so I got the recipe from Monkey right. Body. I'm sure you remember that. I do. Um, and they just got back from a trip to Italy. And then they're going again? Well, Jen is, because she, she is. is obsessed. She even had like a little Italian flag <laughs> painted on her nails, just oh, like two oh, nails. Oh, but it's easy. I know. Italy is yeah. awesome. So it's very good. She um, is going to do that. So when she came it's back, we, should go. Um, we had we go, Aperol <laughs> spritzes, and they were really delicious. Yeah. So now you're going to make them. We are. And I got out some fancy glasses gonna, for you to do. Yes. Complicates okay. it, but okay. Are we going to do that now? We're yeah, talk let's about do it now. Let's do it Anything now. Anything that's happened. Okay, let's do well, that first. What, else, what do you want to talk about? No, we'll all make well, them. No, because you're right. You're right. I'm getting off schedule, and thank you for keeping me on track. I know. We have I am, four look, more minutes. I am bad road. with a straight and narrow. Yeah. yeah. I am. I, yes. It's Sandy Land goes we, like but, this. But we brought in a professional. I know, and I need to listen. Okay. You see, he's making yep. notes I know. He's I do. Notes. Okay. All right. He's okay. He's going to give you production notes later. Okay. okay. So what's been happening? Okay. It's been a while. It has. We had all the holidays. We did, and they were they were wonderful. They were very good. Yeah, they were good holidays. And then we did some concert stuff. Like y'all yeah. went to some. We went to see Nathan Hamilton last night. It How was, was that? Oh, it was so good. And it Where was at the uh, Continental Gallery, which it was kind of funny because the three of us. Um, Old people. Yeah, we were not used to being out on a saturday night in austin mm -hmm. and there were people everywhere and we were trying to find a place to grab a bite to eat before we went to oh, the no, show no, no. it was yeah it was not good no nope. and um everybody had a long wait and if they didn't have a wait it was seafood and then it was yeah so but we did end up going to this really cute little diner and i don't remember the name Joanne's. of it joanne's, joanne's. diner it was okay. super cute Down in front of and the San Jose Hotel. that's where it was that was like a mm -hmm. western well, it was not, um, but it's it had so a really awesome. cute little um, bar service, uh, c uh, counter service area, mm -hmm. which we didn't sit there, but it, it would have been fun to just sit there and like watch it's everybody. A lovely place. We didn't experience it. No, we, we sat at a, t at a booth. <laughs> okay. Um, but the food was really good, but it was quite humorous when John opened the menu. Um, John. And the first thing he said was, chicken fried steak is $32? <laughs> <laughs> Oh and God. we went, what? <laughs> He's right. <laughs> yeah, chicken fried steak, 32 bucks. But it was great. We didn't have that. They didn't want um, to serve it. It was, well, no. every, we just Everybody aren't used to going one? out yeah. anymore. So especially in Austin, I guess. Okay. Um, but what we had was really delicious. Um, yeah, so we split nachos and John had a... Um, Patty, patty melt, melt. Patty which oh, was sounds good. which was unusual because it was on two pieces of bread, which That's is not a patty exactly. Melt. <laughs> we had that discussion as well. Joanne, um, what you doing? I, I, she's confused, okay. but it was really <laughs> yummy. And then we went over to hear um, Nathan and this really cool kind of psychedelic -y place. And well, it's a dive, but it's upstairs. Upstairs of the continental, continental, continental club. Below. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it was really good. And Nathan Hamilton will be here September 30th, for those of you marking your calendar. Yay. Yeah, really, yay. Pretty good. So, okay. um, yeah. Along so, with Mark. Yes. And Mark the cello player, player and like perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so I, I hesitate to say this because we all want to get reservations. But last two weeks ago, we went to, and this is the end of what we're going to talk, then we're going to start cooking because okay. we're cutting our time out. Um, we went to Sidecar mm. where For Alex Meissner was playing with jazz. three other people um, and it was incredible really because good people need to know that he can do more than play the accordion. Um, he was great. It was really fun and the bar was lovely. And the drinks were awesome. The bartenders were like super fancy people who, you know, threw things in the air and could make anything. So. They could make anything. I didn't see them throw you didn't? anything. Yeah, no. they like had their shakers and they would go like that and catch it and throw in cherries and pineapples. She and, was very good. She was exceptional. It was like that fruit game that we used to play. Fruit Ninja? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Julie Nelson says, hi, y'all. We miss you. And hi, Paula. 
Aww. <laughs> really? She sent it right as Polly came in. Uh, I y'all were busy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. so uh, okay. we did that. And so uh, check your calendars, but don't make reservations because we want them. Um, but if you go in late, then that's okay. Anyway, it's great. It's great. Okay. Okay. Well, the 20th, the next one is <clears throat> like sold out. Did you know that, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Just fill it up. I yeah. Know. And so we already have reservation for the third one. We're not going to be there, but we got some friends of ours. So we have to know if he's coming on the 17th so we can go. Right. 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 Yep, yep, yep. I have it on my calendar. Okay. We're working well, you, on our calendar. If you will share that with Backyard at Green. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on my Backyard at Green calendar, too. And you've got some really good shows coming up. Yeah. Paul we Josh did. Is getting his ice ready. We have... Um, Hopefully Alex will be here. We just don't have a date yet. We have Walt and I hope I think Betty Sue. We have um, the Rifters will be here. Uh, Bill Small's coming. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's on my calendar down Nathan? there. Nathan. Nathan already said. Yep. Um, I don't remember who else. Okay. But, it, but it'll be good. be good. Year. It'll be good. Hopefully, Pat Byrne and um, Shawnee Kilgore. I heard. Um, oh, I took a minute to get where this is going. Oh, so, I like that watch. Is that new? Uh, Cassie Sorry, got it go for ahead. my birthday. It's nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I saw an article about one of Jana's songs. From the astronaut uh -huh. and they said it was great it is. and then she made a facebook post about it and i think she misused the word chuffed because i take that as a negative no it's a positive i'm really chuffed well all right i don't know how to use that word no you're, you're wrong. wrong yeah you're, you're it doesn't right. matter i pulled up the song <laughs> on apple music and listened to it uh -huh. and and then the next one that came on was a like a album that shawnee had made Oh, well, right. that's, and, yeah. And I thought, well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that um, is cool. Last ad, people do need to go to Patreon if they haven't and subscribe to Jana. Jana, Patreon. So that's how she's paying yeah. tuition yep. and room and board in New, York, in New York City. And she's not, she was supposed to be here, but... Um, Tonight? Yeah, she was going to be here, but she was only going to be here for two days. And so she said, no, I'm going to go on back to New York and she will stay longer at spring break. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah. So what you doing here? Ah, so it's an Aperol spritz, if we didn't say that already. Yeah, like you have in Italy before you're going to have munchies. It's super simple. And we'll we pretend. don't use the shaker. Uh, if you're following a recipe, we have too many people for the amount of Aperol that we have. So the actual recipe is three ounces of, of Aperol, three ounces of Prosecco, and one ounce of club soda. Well, that's why I gave you smaller glasses. Right. Okay. Um, a lot of the ones, if you look at it, it will also say that you can mess with it depending on whether you actually like the taste of some of these things. Because mm. um, yeah. Aperol, despite being red, is not super sweet, it's kind of bitter. Yeah. Um, so if you want less of that, use less of that. If you want a lower alcohol content, use a little bit more club soda. I also have simple syrup. Um, not in the recipe. No, but you were said if you wanted to make it sweeter or different or <laughs> Well, if or you want to make it sweeter, you either use bigger slices of orange or you use more Prosecco oh. and less Aperol. All right, you then never mind. stick with what you're supposed to. Oh, yeah, because we do that. <laughs> Julie said, ooh, sounds like some great shows in the, coming up this year. Yeah. Yeah, in the really, year if I could remember professionalism, who. we do that. We'll be posting it soon. <laughs> um, she'll share it with me. But you. Uh, oh, uh, Adam and Chris Carroll. Oh, oh yeah. Be fun. Yeah. Plus, there's going to be a songwriting workshop here. Yes, um, March 25th. Uh, Chris, no, mm -mm. Adam Carroll and Michael O'Connor uh, have asked us it, to host a songwriting workshop here that that day. So yeah. Okay. So you put your ice in the glass first, and you put your orange in the glass on top of your ice. And then I am going to measure this out as if I were making drinks. 
and then just kind of evenly distribute it. Because, so that's one. Because these glasses are way smaller than yep. what they had. That's what I was thought I was supposed to get out. So this would actually only be two. But because we have these, we're going to just pour it over. And then use the club soda to keep it busy, even though our Prosecco is fizzy. Is fizzy. There. It's bubbles. That's pretty. I know, right? It is. Well, what here. What are you doing over there? And yes, cut it out. And plus, the glasses Try are. One of these. Stop. The glasses are a little pink, and so it makes it extra pretty. I think it smells good. I like I the have, orange. Um, well, don't try it then. Well, this is, oh, mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's well. delicious. It's nice and refreshing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's really the only steps for that. It's very simple. But I'll make a whole bunch now. Pasta. Yeah. So make this ahead of time. Serve it to your guests. You could even make this in a punch bowl. And then people can scoop it out and put it on ice and they can make their own. Um, who else would like one? One. Just one? Everybody down there on it. Okay. No? Well, well we got this wine. one. Give it to Casey. She drinks everything. She, yeah. Give it to Casey. She'll drink it. So, um, what I'm doing over here is just. Um, taking some Italian sausage, some sweet and some spicy out of its casings. And I should have been doing this while you were talking. But we can't completely not show people. No, no, I know. I'm just, you know, we, we are, we are. <laughs> it's weird that we're going to do so much less of that. Okay, so talk about what you're making. Okay, so um, this dish has um, Italian sausage. You could use regular sausage. I just like the Italian. And... Um, do you want Butternut one? squash. Oh, you do want one. Which is roasted. Okay. Spinach. I want to try this. And a creamy sauce. So I'm just going to get all that in there. And I've got water boiling for our pasta. Whoa. And the recipe calls for uh, rain, uh, bat, bow tie pasta. Uh, because it, you know, Did the you shape like of your pasta really does kind of make a difference as to what you're well, cooking. No, because we'll make as many as we need. If you've There's got pasta enough. that has okay. ridges in it, you know, and little holes and stuff like that, it'll keep your sauce um, better. And, you know, you, I think there is a real art to selecting your shape of pasta for your sauce. I don't know that. Oh, I've done that I'm wrong. I'm not Italian, and I've never cooked like that, really. But I do know that for a lot of Italians, it's very specific what pasta sauce they use with which pasta. So I need to wash my hands. I picked the wrong shape pasta recently. You did? Yeah. What'd you do? I used spaghetti instead of uh, the one that's a barrel. Uh, Rigatoni? Yeah. Yeah. I did. That really is good. It's very good. Because it just has that little bit of bitterness, but... But not too much. It's bright and refreshing. Yeah, it's very... Very light. Um... And so then I'm going to use this handy dandy tool that Kim gave me. What is it? <laughs> to um, squish up our, pasta, our uh, sausage over here. Oh, is that the, plas the, the square or the cross thing? Yeah. We the little star shaped it's thing. Fantastic. Yeah. There we 
go. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Does that happen to everybody? <laughs> okay. All right. And so then I have the spinach over here, but I'm going to get that out in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put my pasta in here so it can start cooking. And then I'll tell you what we did with the um, butternut squash. Oh, yeah, because you, you did the butternut squash earlier. I did because it has to roast. So... And I put some salt in here. I'm going to put a little bit more pasta in there. Not a lot because I'll crowd it too much. But we also have like 13 people here. so. And leftovers we'll send home with our cameraman. Oh. We made too many. Oh, okay. I'll drink it. John will drink one. Oh, okay. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, so our butternut squash now looks like this. But what did it used to look like? Well, it used to look like this. Yeah. And so it's super hard. And if your grocery store sells butternut squash already um, diced up like that and frozen, HGB and you have knows it in bags. Yes, and it's, you have to take out a bank loan to buy it, though. Mm -hmm. It's really expensive, and you only get a small amount, which is fine if you're just cooking for a small number of people. Mm -hmm. This is two squash. Um, and it's very tender and very delicious. And I put it um, in the oven with olive oil and salt two and pepper. Two squash is my favorite Italian wrapper. <laughs> that was good. Um, but you want it to get a little charred like that. It's, it's really good. And then it's really good to just eat. But um, this I put in for four, on 400, and it, the recipe said it would be ready in 30 minutes, but that is not true. It took about 45 minutes, That's and I upped good. it to 425. You could just eat that. You could. You, it's, be, it's delicious to just eat. And when I make it like this to just eat, I also put a little cumin on it, and it's really delicious. Don't, don't cumin me with a Cuban <laughs> joke. No. <clears throat> well, it's cute, but, but, but one I'm of them, only cumin. it's cumin, and it needs to be loved, just like every other Oh, God, does. stop it. Okay. Um, so, let's continue to do that. Okay. Do I need to do something? Just kind of keep an eye on that, I guess. Okay. Okay. Now, the salad... Um, you've, so measured, you've measured with your heart. In my salad? Oh, In gosh. the dressing. Okay, so we have um, arugula, some wild greens, and some um, romaine in here. And I'm going to add some dried cherries because they're delicious. And I'm going to add some goat cheese. And hopefully there's, there's nobody who hates goat cheese. And then <clears throat> the dressing that I made. We've made this dressing before and people always really like it. I'm not going to dress the salad just yet. Um, well, but it's here. Stop. <laughs> Up with the pun. <laughs> um, all right. So not addressing the salad. Um, let me get back to that recipe. Um, but this is a recipe for um, salad dressing that everybody likes when we make it. That's weird. What's in you it? You get weird things when you um, type the word in wrong. <laughs> Some of them say like, my husband is handsome. Some, no. Nope, no one um, is. That nope. never shows up. Um, oh. oh my God. Okay, y'all. Don't encourage him, please. Well, then I'm cry. Just 
stop. Just stop. <laughs> okay, so it has. Um, this is the year of professionalism. Maple, maple uh, syrup. I'm okay. trying to look for the. <laughs> maple syrup. I'm trying to look for the ingredient. Dijon level. mustard. Yes. Uh, yeah. And Wait, there's syrup in the dressing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, like. That's a sweetener. You, sometimes you put honey in a dressing, <laughs> or you put a little bit of sugar. Um, what did this, you have in there before that you were dropping this into? And there was some amount of balsamic vinegar. Uh, balsamic vinegar. I'm going to get to that vinegar. if y'all will quit talking. And then olive oil. <laughs> or oh, salad oil. Obvious. <laughs> there were only the three ingredients. Oh my ingredients. gosh. No, baby. No. There's... Okay, there's Dijon mustard. Yes. There's um, many, many tablespoons of Dijon well, mustard. Well, I've tried to do math, and we know that doesn't usually work for me. <laughs> um, olive oil and... Um, balsamic. I said that. You didn't. I didn't. Okay, did balsamic. Several times. I thought so. What yeah. else is in there? So you had vinegar in there first. You dropped a whole bunch of Dijon mustard in, and then you took out half of it. Yeah. And then you put... <laughs> um, the maple syrup over that. Oh, here we go. And then you put the olive oil. Oh, salt and pepper. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, really, that's all there is. Yeah, we, okay, good. Okay. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Some amount of each of those Some things. Some amount, yeah. So it's a, this, this one is a quarter cup of oil, two teaspoons And you can of, either double or triple the recipe depending on the size of yes, your jar. that's kind of what I tried to do. Right. Um, and then the Dijon mustard and the maple syrup and salt and pepper. Yeah. Yeah. And so everybody likes this when I make it. So everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. So we'll put that on our salad here in a little bit. And I also have... You um, don't dress your salad ahead of time? Some roasted pecans. No, because it'll get soggy. I roasted some pecans to go okay. in there too. And if... I would advise you if you're going to put... Why did you throw that one Because that was all yicky. It was old and it didn't look good. And um, This is a heck of a roast. It looked like a burnt pecan. Um, if you are going to use it. pecans in a salad or in um, like chocolate, you know, cho little chocolate candies or whatever. Which I would never do. Because you don't like nuts. But um, roast them because it really makes a difference in the crisp of it. And you can do that on top of the stove, but I would advise you to stir it the whole time because pecans or walnuts or almonds, whatever it is that you're you just put them trying right in to the toast. And mm -hmm. get them hot? Yeah. You can put butter in it. I usually don't. Oh, I would. But you do. You put butter on everything. Yeah, yeah. But you do have to um, keep stirring it because they will burn very, very quickly. So just know that. Um, and we'll add those too in a few minutes. All right. That's that. Okay. How are we doing over there? Uh, we're getting there. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to start. How's the pasta? I don't um, know. I don't know. Where's my little guy? I don't Just know. anything. Use oh, this. I... Oh, here's a longer tongue. Here. I mean, we could use a pasta spoon. That's what I was looking for. I couldn't find it. Tongs. Oh, Feels weird. No, it may be in the, in the It's not thing. there yet. Ow. Ow. No. Okay. Uh, the safety right. the safety advisor is about to lose his mind. <laughs> he's taking notes. He is taking notes. Dang, John. I know. I'm starting to feel bad about myself. It's not bad. It's not there, but... I'm doing everything wrong. It's like al dente. I'm it's definitely al dente. Come back. What are you doing? I'm going to make the sauce. There's a sauce? Uh-huh. Okay. Now Obviously I'm all so, it, I'm like gosh. totally self-conscious now. Well, this is one that Cassie makes. It's always very delicious. Okay, so I'm going to um, do some... Would you squish in our fancy little garlic <gasps> squisher? I get to use the thing? You do. Would you do it? Hey, if you've got garlic, which we have, do you want me to squish all of this? Yeah, because what we don't use, I'll, um... Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> way, 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 way down. Oh. Mama, this, this lost a tooth at some point. You're going to have to... It did lose a tooth? At some point, yeah. It did? Let me see. We, we have aggressively loved the... Oh, no. I have one upstairs. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some olive oil in here. It's so good. I don't know if anyone well, out there hasn't <laughs> used one of these yet. I but don't use it upstairs. I gotta tell you, <laughs> it's in a box upstairs, ready to come down. <laughs> change your garlic life. What is that? This or is garlic, just garlic, one of the most garlic. magic no, tools that garlic. you need to get in your kitchen today. I know that a lot of people out there are looking at a pile of garlic. And every time I cut garlic, I just cut right through my fingers. So one thing that people have come up with yeah, is a garlic twister. You can take whole cloves of garlic. You don't have to endanger your family to do this. You put them right in there, you put the lid on, and you just twist it. It's the easiest thing in the world. I know. Tupperware is not going to fall out of your... It's so easy. Oh, yeah. You don't have to worry about getting carpal tunnel from doing this. Mm-hmm. It's huge. It keeps all the freshness inside this one container, and then when you're ready... But wait, there's more. But wait, hold on. When you're ready to actually use it, you open it right up. There's no latch. There's no expensive lock to figure out. It's never going to run out of batteries. No key to lose. You can have garlic every day, any time of day. Do you it. want garlic? Salt. Twist it. <laughs> oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. That's you, good. You should we should rename it. We the should twist be it. getting sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we could be a little bit more professional, it might this happen. This is the but year of professionalism. That is not happening so far. The year of sponsorship. I'm disappointing John over there. Like I can tell. I mean, my heart is breaking. I don't know. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. He's keeping. I am he's not the even twist kidding. Too. There you I'm, go. I'm just glad I am <laughs> so what's great about this and it's an exercise it's easy to do right because I'm so happy to do Jane it Fonda eats your heart out and with garlic and and if you want to work your upper bicep well I don't need to do that okay oh oh anyway so I have I'm shredding our own parmesan cheese I've just I've just twisted three twisted. pounds of garlic what's that twisted I don't know away? what to do with this now okay well we're gonna use some we found another problem <laughs> Okay, put some in here. Okay. Some? Just some. Put, That's put, three to let five. Let me see. Wait. <laughs> okay, put that guy in here. Okay. Yeah. Well, have I got it? Yes. <laughs> uh, I need a little. <laughs> well, if you, if you play your cards right tonight, you might get to go home with one. Yes. She's got prizes. We could do a raffle. <laughs> well, Lisa, do you have one? Yes. Okay, and Kim has one, and John has one. I don't. Do have you one. have one? One? No. You y'all don't have one. I may have to order some more. We really <laughs> thought we were going to get one. As many. I yeah. believe you. Y'all don't have one. I'm no, sorry. we don't have one. Oh my God. I'm a terrible mother. As terrible. I've been a guest oh on this show. Oh my gosh. You're not a guest. Uh-oh. Oh. You, uh -oh. you are the show. <laughs> now we're liable. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, because, yeah, this you do have room for. Oh, come on. Have you seen my house lately? I've seen your house. <laughs> But I think you have room for a garlic squisher, a twist it. But do you have room in your heart? Yeah, Julie has one. Paula and Casey. Yeah. Look. You are welcome to come and look through my Get, doors. Guests of Cooking with Mom will be graciously provided with <laughs> garlic squishers. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. There you go. Oh, now, you. now you're a better cook than me. Yeah. Oh, my we did. Okay, I just put a bag of spinach into my um, garlic oh, and goodness. olive oil. What kind of spinach is that? It's bagged baby spinach. Okay, wait, so you just talk about the garlic and olive oil. Okay, so the garlic and olive oil, <clears throat> the olive oil I had warming, and then um, I put, well, Josh put in, that was probably four full cloves of garlic. There was so much garlic, but it yeah. was so easy. And so... <laughs> So we, we put that, that in California you have to have the exhaust vent running? 
Miami. Oh yeah, and in California, the garlic twister will give you cancer. So do not <laughs> take it across state lines. <laughs> okay. Unless you don't get to use a gas stove. Right. But, oh right. my gosh! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna stir that no, around. No, 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 you must finish explaining I yourself. I, I did, I just, poured, I just poured the spinach out of the bag. Okay, into in the olive oil and garlic. And the garlic, yes. And right. that's, I'm just stirring it around and getting it to wilt a bit. Okay. Not a wildebeest. And then I'm gonna add, oh my God. And then I'm gonna add heavy cream. Is this how you do yours, Kathy? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know that I do my heavy cream. I think I do my heavy cream, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's been a full week since I made it. So <laughs> it you, you've slept. I don't know that I could say I slept, but it's been a full True. week. True, you do have three children. All right, so I'm going to put the cream in here. And I'm just going to put all of it because I'm measuring with my heart and I'm increasing this. Um, Two to three times. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know how many times. <laughs> Not as many as the dressing. The heart wants <laughs> what the heart wants, and it wants heavy cream. And so then this is going to come to a little bit of a boil. I'm going to turn our, no, not a rolling boil. Just a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Do you think this has a lot of calories in it? No, 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 we were talking about the drink. Yeah, me too. Do you yeah. think oh. that has a lot of calories in it? Not It's pretty light. Yeah, if, I mean, it's just champagne, and it's given the choice, I'd rather drink the napkin. I don't think the apple has sugar in it, does it? Well, it's bitter. Okay, so we're going to let that cook a little oh, bit. Oh, guys, it's in Italian. <laughs> Seriously? No. Okay, oh gosh. <laughs> But it's also a bottle of alcohol, and they don't put anything on there. Yeah, they don't. Oh, yeah. Well, you could look it up. It would tell you. I'm not going to. Somebody else could. Here, Casey, Casey will. Okay, so. All right. Uh, three. Okay, so our. Yes. Well, pasta is all We didn't use all of it, so like in the recipe is. So I'm going to pour this out, but, but I am going to. That's probably two and a half because I had a little save. bit left over. A little bit of the pasta water. I don't know that I'll need it. Plus an orange but I'm slice. I'm gonna save it just in case. Oh, Why do you small the pasta water? Because it has all the starch in it from the pasta, and it will help keep your sauce together. <coughs> so I mean, ten of those, and you're good for the day. That's right. It's got an orange in it. You basically eat fruit all day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so I drained the pasta. Would you see if you can squish that a little more? Mm, we should have done that before it got cooked. <gasps> <laughs> Oops. We lost some. All right, so that's looking good. I'm going to add our Parmesan. To this, but I'm gonna put some more. Okay. Oh, that looks good. And it's getting kind of crispy on the edges, so that's yeah. good. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my butternut squash in here. Okay. So it can start getting warm as well. Oh. Whoa. Oh. What was what? that? It was uh, the pan hitting okay. the cast iron. Oh. Let's not do that. <laughs> well, it didn't break. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. 
It is. It's a very pretty dish. Well, Nothing? I'm just okay. looking. Trying to pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's Trying pretty, learn. pretty. Okay, so um, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm thinking what that I would like to... Minutes. Is the dessert part of what we're talking about? No. Oh. Oh, you just made a dessert. I just made a dessert, so we have a dessert. All right, so... Um, okay. Oh, is that big? Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? What's left? Because. Well, now we're going to combine it all. Okay. So I'm going to put my pasta back into that big bowl, big pot. Whoa, Nelly. But I don't think I'm going to put it. Uh oh. I don't know. Jumper. I'm not going to put all of it in there. I'm just going to put like so much. Oh, whew, that something was really hot. Steam. Yep, steam. Yep. And then I'm going to put this okay. into... Should we go ahead and turn all these off? Yes, please. Um, I want to eat this so bad because it looks like cheese. Okay, here. Yeah. Well, I... Uh, it's really she doesn't want my help. <laughs> I can pick it up and then you can. Let's do it that yeah, way. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it, it that way. way. Okay. See, so Elise thought it was funny. She's not laughing at us. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, that's probably painful. It's an experience. In somebody's ears. Okay. okay. And then let's put the sausage in here okay um do we want to drain it first or how do you want it's to... very it's really not, it's not um bad, no let's put it in nothing. here it doesn't so, okay so the same get deal. a get you use that little yeah that you know the one i'm talking yeah mm -hmm. julie says hey sandy you really know how to elevate a meal <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> well, elevate is our um, prompt word for our songwriting class. Oh. And, of course, Julie's finished her song. Um, I haven't started my song, but, but you've been working on it. in my head I have. So Julie and Lisa are coming over tomorrow night, and we're going to work on our songs um, together and have pizza and drink wine and sing a song that I have not written yet. But... Julie and Lisa will help me through it. Sometimes when I'm working in buildings downtown, yes, um, <laughs> I'll ride the elevators up and down and tell really off-color jokes. <laughs> Just to random people. It's wrong on so many levels. On so many levels. I get it. Thanks. Did you know that was coming? <laughs> yes. No one's ever told that joke before. No, nobody had to. <laughs> Wow, that's really pushing my buttons. <laughs> I almost swore on account of your grease bomb here. Oh no. Yeah, it's all right. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. only my fault. So get a, a small plate, Josh, and I'm gonna dress the salad. You took them all out. Yes. You took them all out. Well, actually, I need one out of them. We need one more. Get a get a regular plate. Uh, I like the white plates. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, are we going to get those people on that do the thing? Here, 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 here. People the, that do what thing? The uh, plate things. Oh, those, those, they're friends of um, Paula's. Oh, yeah. Paula, are we going to get those people? <laughs> <laughs> we talked the, to them. The people that were at um, well, I'll tell you what. Yes, we totally Andy have to. We have some work to do. We have a lot of work to do before I let them know how unprofessional we are <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're platers i, I mean, mean plate it's enough that i'm about to cry because i feel so under the pressure they're food photographers food photographers <laughs> that's what i'd put on my business card <laughs> <laughs> yes you you would <laughs> uh-oh uh-oh one more we didn't bring the dogs I know. I know. Oh my gosh. There was traffic. Sandy, you're way over there. We're good. Oh, sorry. 
Well, we were we got a little disorganized today, and so okay, there for we Cassie go. to run by back by the house and get the dogs, it was just it was a lot. Look, it's a beautiful plate. It is. You want to I think we did a good job. Taste it. Okay. Are you gonna show them your buttermilk pies or not? Mm -mm. It's pretty, and I can smell the salad. It smells really good. Did you put the cherries in? I did. Really? I could put some more. You could yeah. use more. These dried cherries. Okay, I'll, I'll empty the package. Looks really good. Yeah. All right. Now we're always walking down yeah. Is it good? It looks tasty. It's very good. Yeah. We should make more. And it's really pretty. So, so. that people can eat it. All right, so next time... Do you remember if which it, it's either dessert and an appetizer or it's a oh I think next time is a nice dinner. Yeah. Next yes. time is a nice dinner. So oh, oh. guys hey. And this is a not this, nice dinner. This is <laughs> right. This, this is slumming. Is this is quick and easy <laughs> quick normal and easy. dinner. Okay. Oh this okay. is quick and easy. Though. So when I make it at home, it takes me less than thirty minutes. Really? Yeah. Wow. This is a quick show. It's not even been an hour. <gasps> Look at us go. I know. We have time to make a dessert. No, it's already made. Down there. I made buttermilk yeah. pie and a buttermilk coconut pie. Wow. What are we okay. making next week? Next week we're making, mm. oh. oh yeah, oh. that beef brachial. Okay. That I've always wanted to make since I watched um, that Italian lady cooking with Lydia. Cooking, she's not Italian. Well, I guess she is. Anyway, cooking with Lydia and she makes this beautiful beef roll that just looks awesome. Okay. So we're gonna do that. That'll be nice. For a Explain nice a dinner. Bit about the different types of meals we'll be cooking over okay, the show. so we have broken things up so that we do intentional variety. So we're gonna have some, and this is over the course of the year, not, right, whatever. So we're gonna have quicker things that you can make in less time that are kind of minimal ingredients, pretty simple to make. Um, so that's this. And then we're gonna have things that are fine, fancy dinners that um, either take more time or a special ingredient or just are fancier. And then we're gonna break off desserts into their own category. Uh, and then we're also gonna have things that we're doing intentionally different. Uh, so think about a vegetarian me meal. Like you can make a lot of vegetarian substitutes for normal meals, but you're doing a special ingredient or you're doing something different with a different method. Um, so not necessarily all vegetarian, uh, but just trying to find normal ingredients and do something different with them. Um, so those are the four mm -hmm. things that we're going to do this year. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll have, have guests. Fun. And we'll have more so, guests. So yes, and Walt Wilkins is going to be here as a guest for sure, and Alex Meissner is going to be here as a guest for sure. We and Bill Small's coming back as a guest. We know Al or, um, Walt's day Walt's for day sure. Walt's day is Super Bowl Sunday. Yes. Yay! I'm very excited. Yes. February 12th? Grider the griders okay. want to come back. I just got it. Because it's been so many years. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, but we'll get more. Yeah. That'll cool. be fun. Cool, right, cool. That's it. We have dinner. Oh, and I oh. want Clint to cook. Oh, Clint. and Clint's going to be here for Clint. sure. <laughs> so Clint has been cooking on Wednesdays. Yes. Because he is a very manly man. <laughs> and he has decided that he wants to learn how to cook. So he's been expanding his cooking horizon uh, on Wednesdays. That's yes, wonderful. And Linda, Lisa has said you've made some really delicious meals. I have. Okay. So okay. you'll have to I pick even one. Like <laughs> <laughs> so you'll have to pick one and come back and cook with us. I will. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. All right, All right then. Are we, got, are we under an hour? Yeah, for, mm -hmm. for real. <sighs> Yeah. Okay, I'm a little afraid John's of those notes John's going to throw away so there. many notes because of how much oh under God. an hour we can go. <laughs> I know, I'm terrified. Okay, all right. All right, good. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. Cooking with Mom is brought to you by Sandy Land Baking, where cupcakes and cookies are the main entree, backyard at Green the best way to experience the heart and soul of Texas music, and Gatewood Press, home to the caregiver's tales, a daily blog.